Thanks for watching today for the Coca-Cola Case Competition. Today presenting the facts to you is going to be Connor Denny, Cole Shelton, and Josh Tucker. The company makes the bottles, the packages, delivers the soft drinks to stores, restaurants, uh, entertainment ven venues, anything like that. And they've actually been bottling the secret Coca-Cola formula since 1902. They were the first bottling company to start out in North Carolina selling these products. And since then, they have continued to purchase bottling locations, expand outwards, and sell the delicious Coca-Cola drink to various locations. And their mission statement is to honor God in all we do, to serve others, to pursue excellence, and to grow profitability. Arting to Coca-Cola Consolidated's modified building blocks of competitive advantage, their core block is the strategic arena. Our group says this because of its service of its Coca-Cola bottling. It's geographically reached all around the southern United States and we're hoping to expand into the rest of the country. Our channel that we focus on is the surrounding retailers near a Coca-Cola bottling location. Uh, we need to be close enough to be able to reach our consumers at a reasonable time. We focus on a mass market, and so we have the same bottles going to every consumer that purchases them. And we also have a great HR department to utilize to help us become efficient. Yeah. Another modified building block that Coca-Cola Bottling Consolidated uses is quality. They are a company that's very reliable and consistent with their product, manufacturing, and delivery. They have delivery orders every 48 hours to allow order adaption for all of their customers. Bottles are also made to order and made correctly. None of them are um, deficient or made incorrectly. They're all sealed correctly and there's no issues when they are distributed. And also a really cool thing is they do feature different tasting Cokes in different locations. So some may have more sugar, some may be more carbonated, just to appeal to the consumers in that area. Another modified building block that they do struggle with a little bit is efficiency. I know right now production is currently very chaotic, not necessarily meeting the demands as far as getting the production out that they're supposed to. Um, they do, however, have great leverage. They're selling market price that is higher than profit margin, so it's definitely something they can continue to do. you all about the internal environmental analysis, their strengths and weaknesses. I'm going to start with the strengths. The first strength is information systems and technology. They are the number one bottling company in America. They also spend huge amount of time on organization of the bottling distribution to make sure their lead time is 48 hours. The next strength is human resources, onboarding and training. They implement a great new hiring training program and a hands-on experience. Next, I'm gonna be talking about the weaknesses, the research and development, which is the workers and the storage shortage. The workers shortage, um, the company grew so quickly that they had to take the workers from their location and train the new location. This caused things to pile up and get behind. The storage shortage, First efforts to grow the company turned out more successful than they originally planned, so they ran out of space. All right, so now I'm going to be talking about the external environmental analysis, opportunities, and threats. Um, first, I'm going to be talking about the environmental, um, about recycling. Right now, they don't contribute to any recycling, so if they start doing that, the benefit would be to impact the society and contribute to going green and start recycling more, which leads into their corporate social responsibility. Um, they also have general economics as one of their opportunities with new factories and new jobs. The, the threats that they have is a social threat because the organic trend, everyone's wanting to, wanting to go gluten-free and all that, so they're thinking that sugared beverages will no longer be popular. So that's a threat that they have to face and figure out what they're going to do about it. Company, one of our strategic concerns is going to be the worker shortages. Right now, they're having a lot of internal employees who are leaving the bottling factory to go train and open new bottling factories. Um, this is causing a really big shortage in the current factories they're in. I know production is not staying on schedule as planned, and um, there's no one there to oversee the operations to ensure this doesn't happen. And that's just causing to get behind a workflow and even cause problems for the following week with not being caught up with everything. And the factory is just being underutilized and uh, money's being wasted when they don't have enough workforce in there to make all the production. So our main recommendation for this worker shortage issue is I think just to really utilize their HR services. I know that was actually one of their core strengths. They have a great HR program as far as onboarding, training. Um, that's one thing we think that they should be building up that HR more, utilizing it and sending those representatives to the new locations to train those versus instead of having to take internal employees, they can send the HR to take care of that. And 
um, even to further progress with the growing company, they're going to need more employees or growing the manual labor force. Why not grow the HR as well? That way each location can have its own HR and wouldn't have to take workers from every factory. Everyone would be situated themselves. Yeah, have a space shortage. The new growth plan was far more successful than we planned, which led to more products being made because of an increase in production. The main problem with this is that there's no room for these products to be stored. Less storage space means less product and, no, and this is not good for profitability. Our recommendation for space storage is the only way to get more space is to create it. So we believe Coca-Cola Company should add additional storage units to their already largest factories. If they don't want to take this approach, another way to look at it would be to suggest opening larger factories in the future or avoid building additions so you don't have to avoid building additions to every location. Not just this, but eventually be able to build your own factories through lowering overhead costs and using saved money from that lowering overhead cost to construct accommodating locations that won't have this problem arise in the future.